concrete trucks are arriving and we are about to fill this concrete foundation. Concrete foundations, this one is about to be poured. I'm Josh, a builder here in New Zealand, and let's talk about concrete slabs. In New Zealand, there's two types of foundations we'll use. We used to put piles in the ground, we would put bearers, joists, and timber floor, and we still use timber floors, like I used that on the section nobody wanted. But the most common foundation system we use for new builds is concrete slabs. Before a slab's put down, we'll clear and prepare the site, stripped all the vegetation and topsoil, we then bring in base course, which is like a a mix of rock and that gets compacted and then we can start building our foundations on all of that. The next step between the base course and the polythene is a 25mm layer of sand. Basically the sand's purpose is to prevent the polythene from getting pierced by any sharp rocks. We are just finishing the sand off. The polythene's purpose is to stop any rising damp coming up out of the ground. After the sand's done, the very next thing we'll do is put up the formwork. It's also called boxing. It forms the edge of where the concrete is going to set to, and it's a temporary thing that we put in place until the concrete is set hard. We need to make sure the boxing is both put to the right height and also put to a straight line because whatever the boxing is how our concrete is going to be finished. There's a lot of pressure in wet concrete and even more when they come through a vibrator so that needs to be braced. We put a brace every 600 mils. There's two main things that will go into your slab. There is a lot of steel. That's a mix of steel mesh and reinforcing rods and obviously a lot of concrete. You might see I'm standing on these big white pods. These are large 1100 by 1100 polystyrene pods. These polystyrene pods also have an insulation value and they form the basis of what's called a rib raft slab. In between each pod is a channel. These channels here are 100 mils. These channels here are 300 mils. The 300 mil ones become an internal load bearing beam and the 100 mil ones just space each pod and have a one reinforcing rod up the middle of them. The next thing we'll do is lay out a whole bunch of these chairs. These chairs make sure that we lift the steel up off the pods and keep it the perfect amount of distance below the surface of the concrete. You don't want your steel too close to the surface but you also don't want it right down the bottom. You want even amount of coverage of concrete over your steel. Obviously I can't cover everything to do with slabs in a three or four minute video and your situation and your site will have its unique requirements. But that's my brief summary of foundations. If you haven't already, go ahead, click subscribe and I'll catch you on the next concrete slab.